Let's begin by Turntable Terror and welcome to Mike Tickering. And I must ask you, uh, before... Yeah, it's, it's, I'd say from Birmingham onwards, it seems to be really big house nation, definitely. Um, so there's a north-south divide, is there? There seems to be. The south seems to be very much... I mean, the Playhouse in London, obviously, but the uh, south seems to be more into... Especially London seems to be more into rare groove and, and hip-hop electro. Whereas in the north, it's a house that is really getting people onto the floors. Now, we were talking to a guy the other week, Gavin, and he's particularly into Northern Soul. Would you say that House is the new Northern Soul? Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. I'd say there's a lot of things about it that, that make it like Northern Soul. Um, the, it's fast, which Northern Soul is. Um, and the, the records are, are, are done in, say, a thousand or a quantity at a time. Um, so you get that rare record scene that you did with Northern Soul. And... Um, it's just the whole thing is very much like it. The, the, the North, I think, now feels that they've got the new Northern Soul. I think that's why they've stopped playing a lot of rare grooves, etc. Are people really into collecting then and paying paying loads and loads of money for stuff? Um, yeah, that that is a problem with them with them all being on import and um, the young children, like young kids, say 12, 13, 14, apparently are eating house records at the moment. You know, I mean, apparently they're just buying all the house records. Really? And yeah, and at six pounds a time, that's, that's pretty difficult, but, I mean, if, if you wait a few weeks, like, um, English record labels are picking up on them, so, um... So they're not necessarily all on import, eventually you can... Eventually you can. As a DJ, though, you've got to get them on import, which yeah. is very pricey. Otherwise, no good at your job, are you? Well, that's it. <laughs> What's this track? The kid on the street's got it before me. <laughs> this is, uh, Gallifrey House Rhythm. Like that one. That's great. It's a real good groove. It just keeps going all the time. Now tell us about the test that you do. Uh, the Hacienda in Manchester. I do the uh, Friday night, uh, the nude night. It basically, um, apart from being a name that people ask why we call it, you know, why we call it nude night, it's, uh, it's music stripped to the bone, bass and, and uh, rhythm, uh, which is really what black music's mainly about. Um, it's great. I mean, we have all the best dancers. It's packed, a thousand people every Friday night, and um, it's just one of the best nights around in the Northwest. I say one of them, I'm being modest. You know. <laughs>
Uh, yeah, that's uh, Tikoi uh, Carino on Deconstruction Records. It's a record very close to my heart, actually, um, being part of Tikoi myself. That was uh, a record that was born on the uh, dance floor of the Hacienda on a Friday night, um, originally just uh, made on a cassette uh, between the band. Uh, we tried it on the dance floor, it went down a storm, and Deconstruction have now put that, that one out. Now, do you have to be a competent musician like Pickering to do that sort of thing? Um, not really, no, and I think that that house is very similar to Electro. Um, when Electro first started, that was what excited me about Electro, was that it's like punk, really. You don't need to be able to play an instrument, you know, if you've got a, an 808 rhythm box, the greatest rhythm box that's ever been made, you know. They're, they're pretty cheap, or you can borrow one, or... And, you, you know, they're, they're very easy to use. It's elementary, really. And then a small sequencer from Roland or somewhere, you know, it's great. That easy. So the way people used to pick up guitars and strum guitars in the past, people are now getting... Young people are getting involved in, in this sort of music. Yeah, and also, I mean, there are a lot of people like rappers who can do it at record deck. So they've got the records there already. They get them on the deck, scratch them up, mix them, and rap over the top. Because there are people who say that this sort of music is really boring. Yeah. <laughs> what do you say to that? You know, just because it's that sort of constant beat and the bass line and everything. Well, personally, I can listen to this kind of music on, on the radio or in my house. Or, but, I mean, obviously, it's, manu it's made for the dance floor. That's what it's made for. And, and to have a groove on the dance floor, you know, a record that keeps the groove going, the beat and the rhythm, is an essential part of any dance floor. And that's the... Uh, that's all I've got to say to those people. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? This is Arnold Jarvis, a personal favourite of mine at the moment. It's got Take Some Time Out on Fourth Floor Records. and take some time out. You were saying before that uh, you can listen to it on the radio, but really it's, you know, dance floor music. Are there many radio shows that are, are doing this sort of stuff? Um, in England, there are one or two. Uh, local radio stations, m many of them seem to have a, a soul show or a funk show, mm. um, dance music show. 
But you've got to remember that uh, records like this, even though they're really big on the dance floor in America, Chicago and uh, New York, well, in fact, every major American city, these, this is the radio uh, play. I mean, these records get played all the time. Of course, those st stations are going to be on FM, and uh, people who are listening to this show at the moment, they're listening in media yeah, ways. Tragic, it is isn't brilliant. It? <laughs> stereo. Coming soon. <laughs> I promise. And um, what about the dance thing? How do people dance to this? Is it, um, presumably, it's not robotic, it's not jerky. No, the, 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 the house kind of the house dance thing uh, they've got away from the robotic feel it's very um it reminds me very much uh, of like the hollywood the old hollywood uh, thing they, they look like fred astaire in fact for the for the video of the tikoi record that we played before they, they, they kind of turned up that we had the local dancers on it they turned up in spats and, and old suits and the, the dancing is fabulous you know they, they just need ginger rogers up there with them so is there a particular style of dress that goes to the music um or doesn't it matter no not really no that's no. good. Uh, the only thing that is different from the hip-hop craze, I suppose, are the shoes. You know, they have to wear dancing shoes rather than uh, sneakers or, or baseball boots and, and trainers. And do you have to plan your music to get all the beats right? Um, a lot of DJs do that, but I don't like to do that very much because I, I like... Uh, you tend, if, you, if you're going to do it to beats and you're going to plan your night, apart from the new records that come in, your nights are going to sound the same week, you know, yeah. night after night, and yeah. I don't really like doing that, so you just remember, you, if, if, as long as you do your homework and, and you know all your beats, you can pick different records, and, and of course with vary speed, you can speed them up and slow them down as much as you like, really. So, so do you use vary speed quite a bit? Yeah, I only use vary speed. Only. Oh really? <laughs> <Funny>. <laughs> and, and, and all DJs will know which make I'm talking about. Oh right. <laughs> What's his next track? Uh, this is Kenny Jamming Jason, Can You Dance? Right. Um, early stages, yeah. The, the only ones that I really know about in England are um, T. Coy from Manchester, the Cookie Crew I think who you had on the other night. Yeah. Um, and Hotline, who are also on Rhythm King. Um, right. They're the only three major, uh, I suppose there'll be people ringing up saying that there's more sending in letters, but they're the three main ones that I think I know about. John Rocker also. John Rocker uh, can be fast as hell, so that's good. Right, the next track. This is uh, Ralphie Rosario with You Used to Hold Me.
Jose Rosario featuring Xavier Gold, am I right in saying that? That's and right, yeah. That is called You Used to Hold Me, and that's the Mucho Michi mix. Now, lots of people in the music press are arguing about what's more valid, uh, real acoustic music like folk and country, or house and hip-hop, which is based more obviously on uh, rhythm and is the product of a, a lot of the studio technology that's around now. What do you think about that, that argument? I don't really uh, think it holds any worth. Um, Does it matter? No, uh, personally it doesn't. I, I, I don't think it matters at all. Um, um, you could get into loads of arguments like saying, well, listen, you have to program a bass line or you have to program a machine. And, but, I mean, I, I just don't think it matters. And a lot of the acoustic groups or so-called acoustic groups use really expensive studios with really expensive producers and use effects in the studios. I really don't think it matters. I think that if the, if the end product of music is good and people like it, I, I just don't see any point what in it. What about the fact, though, that it puts musicians out of work? That's another argument, isn't it? Well, it doesn't really, because, I mean, if, if, you, if you have a drummer, he's going to be a great drum programmer, and if you have a bassist, he's going to have great bass lines. You, you've got to have the idea for the bass line before you put it in the machine. You know, mm. anybody can work a bass line machine, but they probably won't get anything out of it that was you know, viable or any good. What do you say this house is just a, a money-spinning trend cooked up by the black music industry with no roots on the street? No, I'd say it's, its roots are definitely on the street and the, the industry is trying to fight it quite a lot. I mean, most of the, the house records that are coming out are on independent labels. The, the majors won't touch them. Um, I think also the majors won't touch them because they're all from Chicago and they're all a little bit dodgy. But, <laughs> um, I mean, its roots uh, are really in, in, in late 70s uh, funk, really. I mean, and early 70s also, Barry White, the Philly sound, all that kind of thing. Jack, 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 Jack. Okay, tell us about this next track. This is uh, Do It Properly by <laughs> two Puerto Ricans, a black man and a Dominican. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually using the uh, Adonis No Way Back uh, bass line, which is one of the anthems of uh, house music. And apparently this is out on London Records next week. All right, so people can actually get it here. Yeah, good. Thank you. 
Pickering, who does the biggest house night in the northwest, attracting about 1,000 people regularly. And he does that on Friday evenings at the Hacienda in Manchester, and it's called Nude Night. And what were the two tracks that we've just been listening to, Mike? Well, the first one was uh, Do It Properly by uh, Two Puerto Ricans, <laughs> a black man and a Dominican. I can never say that with a straight face. <laughs> and then uh, Give Me Back My Love by On The House, which is actually uh, Marshall Jefferson. Now, you actually go to New York quite a bit, don't you? Yeah, two or three times a year. What for? Um, I usually go, uh, I have a friend there who's a DJ, Mark Kamen's, uh, ex of the dance interior. Oh, right. Now runs um, a Wednesday night at Turkish Bath. <laughs> um, he, um, I stay with him, but I, I, I go various reasons. I go to get new records. Uh, I'm very much into Latin music also, and, uh, you know, that's the capital of it. Do you go to many clubs while you're there, then? Yeah, yeah. Although at the moment, it's not really very hot for clubs. Uh, a while ago it was. How's massive in the States? Um, in Chicago it is, yeah. In New York, it's only just really... Uh, they're, they're slightly behind us in New York for house music. Um, then also, they, they, they use different influences. They've got the Latin, they've got from Miami, they've got the hot, uh, what they call hot music, and they have a, a special radio station now, Hot 103. And that's almost the same beat as uh, house music, but slightly more high energy, I'd say. So is Latin and house sort of mixing, is it crossing over? Um, not too much. It is now that we've made Tikoi. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the first Latin house record, actually. But, I mean, that's because of the influences we got. We, we, we had house influences and Latin influences and hot influences from New York. We put them all on one record. And what about the Turkish influences I've heard about? Well, actually, Mark, yeah, Mark is now, um, he has this Wednesday night in a Turkish bath. He's, he, he plays kind of the, the, the type of stuff like Arnold Jarvis, like we played before. And he's got all this rai music which is spelled r-a-i from uh, uh, brussels it's kind of algerian and, and um, arabic music and turkish music and he's playing the wailing kind of vocals from that over the top of the uh, house records it's really good those those records though the, the the actual turkish records they use an 808 on a lot of them now in uh, cairo they're oh, hot really in cairo bizarre. They're really hot. <laughs> what's the track we're listening to this is uh, jacket all night long by bad boy bill
really, really like that one. Still talking to Mike Pickering about house music. Why do you think it is that uh, house music has been so slow to take off in this country? Um, I think it's the same with all dance floor uh, uh, types of music, you know. Um, maybe radio could play a little bit more of them. Um, maybe slots like this on radio shows would do the world of good. I mean, let's face it, most music gets nowhere without radio um, exposure. And um, I think that's but more and more or less it. You know I was I mean? saying to you before that, you know, if we had the stereo, uh, it's music that you've got to listen to, yeah, I think. Yeah, you should have a late night program. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep our fingers crossed. And this track? This is my personal all-time favourite. It's Sweet D, thank you. Um, I don't really look for anything. It, if it hits me, it hits me, you know. Um, personally, on house records, uh, beat, obviously. Yeah. Baseline is maybe not as important as on an electro record sometimes. Although, you know, Jack Your Body is like a contradiction of that. Um, but the keyboards, I like these kind of sweet D. Marshall Jefferson keyboards. Like, they seem to waver and just keep going, floating around the, the track all the time. Keyboards, I think. Vocals aren't really important, are they? No, although I think that they should start moving towards doing uh, a lot more vocals. I think it's just that a lot of the vocalists that they've got and a lot of the vocals that they've put on um, tracks and, and the house records so far have been awful. And that's why people stick to the instrumentals more. Plus, if you're dancing, you're not going to listen to vocals so much. So. so how do you see the actual future of house music developing? Um, well, hopefully it will develop um, as the uh, on the house record before. Um, give me back the love that they become more songs because um, you can only keep a groove going for so long yeah. and, and incorporate the songs into the grooves. Um, so you, you, you're building another Philly sound only the the late eighties version of the Philly sound. I think that's how it'll go. Well, thank you very much indeed for coming in this evening. Thank you for and, uh, people can go along and hear. Uh, you spinning the tracks on Friday evenings, yeah? That's right, yeah. At the Hacienda in Manchester, mm -hmm. and it's news night. Anything else? Uh, yeah, uh, we, we will be spinning, my partner Martin and I will be spinning on uh, Saturday in the Super Tent in Finsbury Park, along with uh, New Order Railway Children, Happy Mondays in a Certain Ratio. It starts at five, and uh, can I just plug that you can get your ticket um, either on the day or at the box office at uh, Finsbury Park. Oh, well, have a good time doing that Thanks very on much. Saturday. Really I shall remind people of that uh, later on. And tell us what you think about this track. What do you look for in this next track? Ow, 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 this is just House Nation. That's the north of England, a House Nation. This is brilliant. House Master Boys. This is on English uh, label now, I believe, as well. Thank you very much indeed. Thank Mike you. Mike Pickering.